And so our story begins. The kingdom is on the verge of revolution. But who will be the hero to lead the rebellion? Of course, the princess. It is time you saw what your kingdom is truly like. The age of industry has come to Albion. Though some call it the age of oppression. When freedom is nothing but a dream, it's time to make a stand. To lead a rebellion. To be a hero. Welcome to the city of the downtrodden. Where those who dare to speak out are punished. And those who dare to hope find nothing to hope for. against all odds. True rebels never give up. Yet they cannot triumph alone. The uprising has begun. But who will lead the revolution? What a dreadfully sorry sight. Hmm. Such a beautiful day to waste in bed, don't you agree? Oh, what? Go away, Jasper. Now, that is hardly the response of a princess. I'm afraid it is time to rise. With your permission, I shall wake your sleeping companion. Ah, yes, one's heart soars before such regal bearing. I trust you both slept well. You have a busy day ahead. Come on, boy. If I have to get up, so do you. It's not going to work. Don't look at me like that. Oh, very well. Good dog. What a pair. The kingdom is doomed. Now, madam, if you will follow me, perhaps we can find some appropriate clothing for today's activities. Master Elliot is most eager to speak to you this morning and is waiting for you in the garden. No doubt you will wish to look your best for your young friend. I have taken the liberty of arranging two suitable outfits, if you would care to choose. Elliot is a charming boy, but perhaps wearing pajamas to meet him will send the wrong message? 
It becomes a member of the royal family to wear only the most fashionable items, if one cares about such things. It may not be the most ornate outfit, but that doesn't indicate a lack of quality. I only select the best. Ah, splendid choice. I'm sure Master Elliot will approve. Perhaps you ought to make your way to him now. And I would recommend avoiding your brother today. King Logan is rumored to be in an ill temper. Have a good day, madam. Will do. Bye, Jasper. Princess. princess. You can always count on me to protect you. Oh, hey. <laughs> that was fun. Greetings, Princess. Keep that up and you'll go far. I trust I'm you. I'm at your well, command. Madam. <laughs> you'll upset people if you keep that up. At your service, my Princess. This fine day, madam. Greetings, madam. madam. Nasty business down the industrial. Oh, hello. Nice to speak of it. Yay! Woohoo! Everything's wonderful. I'm ready. Are you? Always at your service, my Hello, princess. your highness. I oh, do hope hello. your brother as well. No one has contributed more to the royal treasury than I have. It's only Until right that I'm treated differently. Ah, oh, the riffraff in this kingdom do nothing oh. but complain. How are you, my princess? They should count themselves lucky they're not chained in a mine somewhere. No one has contributed more to the royal treasury than I one have. One does enjoy it's the only calm right of the that castle. I'm treated differently. Far from the uh, filthy the throng throng in this kingdom do nothing but complain. I must remember to buy some more pearls lucky for not my chained next in a mine visit. somewhere. I cannot go around looking for That's not present. really appropriate behavior. Hello, princess. princess. I must say. One does enjoy the calm. You were looking well today, my lady. Good day, princess. Ah, my lady. My brother works in a factory downtown. I hope he's all right. Oh, how are you, my princess? My lady. Oh, fierce warrior. Are you here to join my army? Good. We shall face all our enemies together, won't we? Yes, we will. Yes, we will. Then the kingdom is safe. Ah, oh, our fair princess. Your two brave knights will protect you with their lives. <laughs> I can look after myself, you know. Really? I'm afraid I'll need some proof. Perhaps you can give me a demonstration of your abilities? How's that? Oh, I don't know. I'm not sure how effective that will be in a real combat situation. I thought you'd never get up. Did Jasper tell you I wanted to speak to you? Yes. Did something happen? I'm not sure. But everyone in the castle seems to be upset with your brother. But more than usual. And it's even worse down in the city. You hear such terrible stories. Listen, they say a factory worker was executed this morning. I'm sure it's only a rumor, but you can imagine how people are talking. The staff in the castle are anxious. I told them you'd speak to them. Will you do that? I'm afraid of what might happen if someone doesn't calm things down. 
If you think it will help. I do. They may fear the king, but they still care for their princess. So, my good princess, may I take your hand and escort you to the castle? Everyone's waiting for you. Good. Now let's go. I can't believe your brother could have had a worker executed. But sometimes I think, well, that there's something wrong with him. He's changed so much. And he looks so tired all the time. Greetings, madam. Ah, welcome back, friend. <laughs> You're not going to leave me stranded in this wilderness, are you? I just can't believe it. Come on. You don't want to be late. I told Sir Walter about the speech. He'll be there to support you. I don't know what this place would be like without him. I'm sure he'll want to carry on with your instruction today. He seems obsessed with combat training lately. I trust you well, madam. Well, I heard all he did was stand up for one of the kids working in the factory. Who knows where it ends? Next thing you know, it's one of us that's... Quit! Straighten those clothes. Welcome, your majesty. Such an honor to have you here today. The staff are convened to hear your words. Whenever you're ready. Everybody's here. Ready to listen. You've all been through some difficult times. And the king has been too preoccupied to treat you as he should. But I ask you all to ignore any wild rumors you hear. I promise to speak with my brother about improving conditions for both you and your families outside the castle. Thank you. You call that a royal speech? You didn't shout, you didn't threaten, and you were far too reasonable. <laughs> It was bloody marvelous. Right then, ready for today's training? Take good care of her, Walter. I suppose you've heard the rumors then. Well, I'm afraid they're quite true. Who knows what your brother will do next? In the meantime, the mood in the castle is getting more uneasy by the day. I think you have a knack for reaching out to people. They all looked up to you back there. The way they look up to a leader. My lady. A lot of people to see your brother today. Poor sods. So Walter, what a stroke of luck. Would you be so kind as to sign my petition? We must fight to eradicate poverty in Albion. Too many suffer on our streets, and the king does nothing. He must be made to care. Oh, very well, but I'm just an old soldier. I doubt my name would mean anything. But perhaps the princess here would care to help you out. Oh, th that would be wonderful, your majesty. Well, it would be the greatest honor. As soon as I got caught here, I knew. I'll never grow old. I was looking forward to it. What's going to I just want to go to home. Us? It's an important cause. I... I'd be happy to sign. Thank you, my princess. Your support will make all the difference. I'm certain of it. If anything happens to me... That was a courageous move. I doubt it would make much of a difference, but perhaps your brother will finally realize that you have a mind of your own. Let's see you put it to good use in the combat room. Come on! You have made good progress these past few weeks. But today isn't about practice. I want you to fight me, as if your life depended on it. Fight! Wow, nice strike. Do you remember the stories I tell you when you were a child? Of your father? The great hero king. You'd never get tired of hearing those stories. And after each one, do you remember what you would say? 
teach me how to be a hero. <laughs> Every single time. I wish that was something an old soldier like me could teach you. But I've done my best. Now I need you to do your best. Strike me! You're not trying hard enough! Again! <laughs> you only went and broke it! Look at that! Am I a great teacher or what? <laughs> but listen, there's something... Walter! You have to come quickly, both of you! What's happened? Outside the castle, it looks like a demonstration. This is not good. They're right inside the castle grounds. I've never seen so many people out there. Balls. I should have known this would happen. I don't think they realize what your brother is capable of. This isn't going to end well. Keep Albion free! We want... It's been a long time since Logan listened to me, but I should find him. Stay here. There's still something we need to talk about. I have a horrible feeling about this. We can't just stand here. We need to do something. Look, the guards have moved away from the stairs. We should follow Walter, find out what Logan's going to do. Let's go while we can. They must be in the war room. Then let's get there before anyone sees us. Quick! You can see them! Think about what you're doing, Logan. I'm protecting the interests of the people. Do not question me again. You will shoot to kill. Start with the ringleaders, and if necessary, continue with the crowd. This is wrong. You can't do this. Oh! <gasps> Never tell me what I can't do. Walter! We can't let him kill all those people. You're his sister. Maybe he'll listen to you. We have to do something. What are you doing here? The war room is no place for a child. Leave now. I'm here to stop you. You can't kill those people. No, wait. Enough! How dare you turn against me? Perhaps you believe you should be the one making these decisions. You really wish to defend those traitors? Then so be it. Let us see how you do. Take my sister and her friend to the throne room. We shall settle this matter officially. Move! I'm going. What? Ah! Leave him alone. I'm all right. I'm all right. Don't worry. Whatever happens, we'll get through this together. Keep walking. Here come the saviors of the people. Come closer. Sister, today you have disappointed me beyond measure. I have been betrayed by my own blood and a filthy spine. We did nothing wrong. Punishment must be apportioned where it belongs. Punish me, then. You are no longer a child, and it is time I stopped treating you as one. You wish to save the traitors who had gathered outside the castle this morning very well. You shall have your chance to save them. Here stand the leaders of the violent mob. I will give you a choice. Who will be punished? These strangers or this boy? The sentence will be what? death. No, this can't be. You are the princess. Decide. Your Majesty, Logan, please. I am giving you power over life and death. No, I won't do this. If you can't choose, I will. They will all be executed. So tell me, what are you willing to sacrifice to do the right thing? This is madness. We can't. We just can't. Choose me. You can't let them all die. Choose me. There's only one decision you can make. It has to be me.
Are you listening to me? Pick me. Thank you. Thank you. It's all right. You did what you had to do. Never forget what he's done and that I love you. Take the boy away. Kill him now. I will never forgive you for this. Good. Then you will never forget it. Escort my sister to her chambers. Now. You mustn't blame yourself, madam. I don't think any of us realized just how far he'd fallen into madness. I have to do something. I can't just stay here. You're not. We leave the castle tonight. This kingdom needs nothing less than a revolution. It needs a new leader. It needs a hero. It's time to see if you're ready. Ready for what? To be your father's daughter. Very good. I will pack some essentials. There's no time. We take nothing. Not even pajamas? Come on. We must leave now. Don't worry, madam. I shall... I should have done something in the throne room. I should have stopped him. All he would have accomplished would have been your own death. Still, maybe I should have taken you away sooner. There is something rather sinister about this garden at night. Where are we going? I thought we were leaving the castle. We are. But there's something we must do first. It's time we paid our respects to Albion's last hero. I never thought I'd enter this place again. You should have known better. The night your father died, I promised him I would bring you here one day. When you were old enough, and strong enough. This is your history. This is your legacy. The world has been too long without a hero. But I'm hoping that it will have one soon. This is your father's most treasured possession, the Guild Seal. It chooses those who have the power inside them, those who have the potential to become legends. Take it. Is something supposed to happen? Teresa, the seer of the spire. I guided your father in his greatest triumph. But you have an even greater destiny ahead of you. The seal awoke at your touch, as it would at no one else's. This means the fate of Albion rests on your shoulders. Before you lies the path you were born to take, and at its end is the kingdom you were born to rule. Like all heroes, you will face many trials, but you cannot pass through these gates alone. You will need to gather followers and gain the support of the people. For now, you have the support of two friends. Jasper, who will serve you always, and Sir Walter Beck, who will be your greatest ally. Together you have already taken the first step in your journey. Walk through the gate and claim your reward.
is a great power inside you. You merely lack the means to unleash it. Take this. The gauntlet will channel the magic within you. Use it by the tomb in the mausoleum, and the way out of the castle will open for you. You will return here when you have gathered enough followers to reach the next gate. Now go. Walter and Jasper will follow wherever you lead. And one day, perhaps the rest of Albion will do so too. a spell. That's supposed to be our only way of getting out of here. You might have mentioned that earlier. And spoil the surprise. <laughs> Simple. We have to stop Logan. How am I supposed to do that? Even if I am a hero, I'm just one person. Exactly. That is why we need to find allies. And lots of them. Once you prove what you are, people will follow you. And many of them will be willing to fight you. But they need a leader. Someone to believe in. Albion needs nothing less than a revolution. Did you see it? Indeed. Your father would have been proud. Well, I know I am. Come on. And I'm proud of you too, old friend. I've never seen a man cower with such grace. It is merely a matter of hygiene. Bats are filthy creatures. <laughs> anyway, I think we've just seen the first proof of what you can do. You are the hero who can lead this land in a revolution. Bats are just the beginning. More bats! 
of that spell. Shall we proceed? Ugh, what an unusual stench. I dare say we must be somewhere beneath our stone industrial. Very likely. Not the safest place for us right now. But we should be able to find a way out of the city once we reach the surface. What is this place? You know, it must be. It is. It's your father's sanctuary. He used to speak of it, but I never thought it was a real place. Well, I don't believe it. Jasper, this book. There's a note with your name on it. Look. That's not possible. For Jasper? Well, I grant you it is possible, but it must be a coincidence. Oh, don't be a dolt. The old king must have left it here for you. What's it called? The Book of Heroes. How extraordinary. Does it tell us how to get out? This really is most remarkable. Everything that we could possibly want to know about heroes and this place is right here in these pages. This map functions as a traveling mechanism. Simply choose where you want to go and, well, it should take you there. Marvelous. Right. We can use that. We'll have plenty of time to explore this place later. Right now, we have a rather large task ahead of us. But I don't even know where to start. Our first stop will be the mountains of Mispeak. There are people there who would make great allies. They won't offer their allegiance easily, but they despise Logan. And if anyone can persuade them, it's a hero. Very good. I will continue to become acquainted with this sanctuary. No doubt we will need to make full use of its facilities. Right, all right then. Find Miss Peak on the map and let's see if that book's telling us the truth. Now, that looks like the dweller camp in Mist Peak, just there. Select that as your destination, and you should be taken there. Just like that. It worked! Oh, I'd forgotten how bloody cold it is up here. Come on. The people here call themselves dwellers. They're tough. They're loyal. And like I told you earlier, they hate Logan's guts. Yep, it may not look like much, but this is where the revolution begins. This is what Logan has reduced them to. He's taken control of these mountains and started destroying its forests. I knew they'd have a hard time finding I food, my door for some food, but I had no idea She's really good, honest. Her name's Sadie. 
I'm sick of eating snow. Do you have any sweets? <sighs> I go up to the castle right now. The man we need to convince is Sabine, a proud old sod, but a good man and a good leader. He won't give his allegiance easily, especially to a princess. Perhaps it's best if I speak to him alone first. You know, maybe you ought to find some new clothes while I talk to Sabine. Something slightly less regal. We don't need this kind of attention. I only have a little bit of gold, but it should be enough. And maybe you can spread what's left among the people. They need it more than we do. Where can I find clothes? Oh, don't worry. You'll find someone willing to take that money off you. Now, can't wish me good luck. You, can't you help us? You don't look like right wall folk. Maybe you're more giving. Please, do you have anything to eat? I need some food. Please, we're starving. If we don't get some food soon, it's all over. Hello. So good to have you here. Please look around. Look around. Hunger making you feel the cold? I have warm clothes. Hello, madam. This is Jasper. Uh, Hello? Is, is, this, is this how you use the... Uh, I am speaking to you through the guild seal. What an extraordinary device. It would seem that as long as you carry the seal, we can communicate freely. Not only that, but you may return to the sanctuary any time you deem it necessary. Might I suggest you do so now and try on your new outfit? Hello. Now, included in the sanctuary is a dressing room. Step through, and I'll show you. I've taken the liberty of laying out your clothes on these mannequins, which should serve as convenient storage for any garments you acquired during your travels. Now, why don't you change into your new dweller outfit? There you are. You look just like a dweller. I hope this new outfit is as comfortable as your royal attire, though I suspect the chances of that are quite low. Now that you are properly attired, you should return to Sir Walter. It is time to meet this Sabine that we've heard so much about. Sabine, better sort this out, or we'll all be gone as It's all Logan's fault. That's more like it. The scruffy look suits you. I've spoken to Sabine, explained everything, and he's, well... <laughs> I told you he'd take some convincing. Come on. Right now and kill Ooh. Out of the way, Boulder. I can't see a thing. So royalty walks into our home. A princess, no less. You're a long mile from the castle, princess. What do you think of our home, then? Do you like what your brother has done to us? These mountains have always been ours. Now Logan's taken them, and he's stripping them of all life. Oh, we're ready to go to war. But why should we follow Logan's kin? You can trust me. You have my word. <laughs> we don't take much stock in words round these parts. We're simple folk. Ain't that right, Boulder? <gasps> then what do you want? Proof. First, prove you are truly, as Walter claims, a hero. 
this is easily done. There's a secret chamber beneath the town of Brightwall, built by your own father. Only heroes can survive its trials and reach the relics within. Bring me one of these ancient objects and I will believe you. Second, prove you are a warrior worthy of leading us into battle. You can do this by slaying the mercenaries who plague Mist Peak Valley and who have long soured our existence. Third, prove you are a true leader. Persuade our neighbors in Brightwall to share what food they have with us. Walder. Oh. If we cannot eat, we will die, and the dead make poor allies. Is that all? Yep, that's the lot. Off you go, then. Good luck. Nice knowing you. Hey, come on, boy. It's nice to see Sabine hasn't mellowed with age. But anyway, I know the place he mentioned. Your father built the chamber under the Brightwall Academy, Albion's greatest seat of learning. At least it was, until Logan closed it down. Just show the old librarian your guild seal. He'll know what it means. I'll try to find out more about these mercenaries. I'll see you in Brightwall when I have some information. If we don't get some food soon, it's all over. Ugh. This can't go on much longer. Where did you come from? Did you bring anything?
I see you're approaching Brightwall, a most charming little hamlet. And a perfect opportunity to acquaint yourself with the fine, honest people of this kingdom, far from the bustle of the city and the factory smoke. Of course, a less charitable mind would turn them simpletons, but I encourage you to shop in their stores, drink in their taverns, and otherwise partake in their small town pleasures. Being an adventure. A reliable way to gather a few followers is by simply interacting with people. Try it. I'm sure you'll make an impression. Stand. And I can stand even less. How can I help you then? I think those mercenaries used to be in the army. The library is closed by order of the king. We don't serve drinks, we don't sell chicken feed. Please leave before the soldiers suspect you of gaining any real knowledge. <coughs> Sweet Papyrus, a real visitor. I, I'm afraid I was speaking the truth. King Logan has closed the academy. I'm little more than a custodian these days. By the holy walkmark, the guild seal. I haven't seen it since the old hero King last came here. Oh, then you are... The princess. Yes. Oh, my. Uh, please, come this way. Your father told me that one day a challenger bearing the seal would come seeking entrance to the reliquary, but I never imagined it would happen in my lifetime. It was he who founded the Academy, of course. I have often wondered how he would react to see it in its present state. Here we are. I can't tell you how many of our researchers and professors have studied this door, hoping to unlock its mechanism. But I knew there was only one thing that would ever open it. Hello, Jasper here again. I believe that amazing device is what is known as a flit switch. However, on the subject of amazing things, you will not believe what I have just found in the sanctuary. You should come back as soon as you possibly can. This sanctuary contains an armory, 
within which there are some truly remarkable weapons, heroic weapons, which your father left for you. This way, please. Now, admittedly, these weapons don't appear particularly impressive yet. However, according to the book, they actually change as you use them, becoming more deadly and developing fantastic properties. They are living weapons, and the way in which you fight with them determines how they evolve. That hammer should serve you well for as long as you carry it, and depending on whom you kill and how, it will grow ever more powerful. Well, now that you are properly armed, you should be much better prepared for whatever awaits you beneath Brightwall Academy. Ah, yes, the flitzer. Now, the way you activate these is by hitting them. Your new weapon should serve them for this game. 